everybody, I'm Tabitha and today we are talking about January's progress. So in 2021, I have a set of year-long goals that I'm working towards and each one sort of broken into categories. So every month I plan to check in and tell you how much progress I made towards those wonderful goals. And as a reminder, those goals look like this. So now this is a lot. I can't possibly focus on all of these things every time. So what I'm going to do every month, which might be different than it was last year, is I'm going to tell you where exactly on this document my focus was for the month. In January, my focus was on getting Fron 4 ready to publish. So I'm down there in that goal of publishing stuff kind of box. In order to have this book completely ready to go by the due date that I wanted in 2021, I really have a lot to do. The first step was to make any changes that were required after a beta had a go at it. For this book, that really meant beefing up some explanations and tying up some of those loose ends and questions that I had left unanswered. Um, it's really taken Fron 4 from what was the smallest of the Fron word counts up to one of the highest, which is kind of crazy. I did finish with all of that in January, so that's awesome. Um, next up will be cover design for Fron 4, and the second beta will have it. Hopefully they'll read it fast. There shouldn't be as many big changes with the second beta, you know, hopefully. Um, then it'll need a grammatical editing pass. Um, as well as any small beta changes from that round. After that, I'll do all the formatting stuff. It'll have a cover and a title reveal. I also will plan on doing a live video somewhere, probably on Facebook before release day to kind of take questions, talk about Fron. Um, so please make sure you're following my author page on Facebook. That link should be all over the place, including down in the description of this video to make sure that you don't miss that. I do want to mention there will also be information about Fron 5 as well as a free chapter of Fron 5 after Fron 4 celebrates its release. So you want to make sure you're following my blog as well. That link is also in the description. So I made great progress on this in January, getting all of that, those revisions and stuff in and getting it onto the beta. Um, so yeah, that's where my focus was. And that's the progress I made on that. As for the other writing kind of specific goals that you see on this goals document, I'll be honest, I didn't do a whole lot more because like I said, my focus was on front four. I wrote about 24,000 words in total this month, but most of that was on that front book. Um, I did sit down and write a few scenes in the idea journal that could turn into something later, but I don't want to talk about it too much because no real promises on that. As you probably already know, uh, what I do, my process is sort of when an idea comes in my head, I put it in the journal. Um, and I don't always do anything with it. So as for this example, I sat down and I wrote a chapter and it sort of fizzled because this person I thought was the main character wasn't the person driving that scene. So I actually came back to it later and tried it again from the other character's perspective. And I don't know, I liked it better that way. We'll see what happens with it. That's kind of what the idea journal is for. But again, my focus was on prepping for publishing. And so that's where I, where I really worked. Got a lot of chapters edited, got a lot of words added, and Fron 4 is so much, so much better for it. I edited nothing else, honestly. I only focused on Fron 4. That was where I was focused. So what's next? Well, in February, I'd like to get that cover design done for Front 4, and I'd like to get the next beta as far into the manuscript as they can get. I'd also like to move on to writing something new, I think. But, you know, I'm not, I haven't chosen yet. I'll choose tomorrow when it's officially February. When you're watching this, I hopefully will have already chosen. Um, I don't know. I might either let my Front momentum carry me into Front 5, or I might totally pick up something new. We shall see. I know you're always invested, so I'm trying to get my newsletter back up and running. Um, in the meantime, just check out my Instagram. Link is in the description just to make sure that, you know, you don't miss any of those cool updates. Those goals that you see without an arrow sort of floating in the bottom of the page, those are the goals I need to always, always be working on in order to actually make them happen in 2021. And the first of those is to read 104 books, read and review 104 books. So far I'm at 10, which isn't bad at all. I mean, that's pretty good, 10 in a month. The official January TBR looked like this. These are all the books that I had to get through. They were all the ones that I read first and they were reviewed on the round one set of reviews that came up already in January. There were no five star reads, but there were some four stars there. After I finished these five books, I started on the bonus wheel. I sort of blogged the day after my very first spin talking about how much I kind of love the wheel. I've had so much fun with it. I can't even explain why really well, other than to say that it's kind of taken the stress out of choosing my next book and I'm having a good time with it. My first spin landed on physical TBR. 
which is books that I already own but hadn't read. Um, then I used a random number generator and it picked What If by Rebecca Donovan as my very next read. Uh, second spin landed on Oldest on my TBR, which turned out to be Craven Manor by Darcy Coates. Third spin landed on social media chooses for me. Um, I put together four options, dropped them all on my social media sites like you can see here. You all voted for the recommended title Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. So that's kind of how the bonus wheel worked for January, which means my actually read for January looks like this. Two arcs, two review requests, one shield, one audiobook, one library book, and the three wheel spins for a total of 10 books, 3,261 pages, if you're curious. So what's next for the book front? Well, in February, I do have one arc and three review requests, and then of course a single shield. The shield for February is going to be recommended title. I have four that were recently recommended to me, so I put in a random number generator here and just pick one and see what we get. And I got number two. So that is gonna be Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. Yay! I think I own. I think I own a paperback of that. So February's officially TBR is going to look like this. So that leaves me with just five official read ones that I need to get through for February. And then we'll be back to that wheel. <laughs> The next uh, year-long goal I have to work on the whole time is the YouTube. I have a, a goal to publish one video a week right to this channel. That's 52. Um, in January, you saw four in the month, which is not bad. I realized I did skip a week in there, but yeah, you know, life. Um, this video, although I'm talking about January, will actually go up in February. So that's that's what it is. It'll be the fifth video for the year coming up in February. I do still need to film the second set of reviews for January, so that'll have to go up eventually anyway. Also, as far as the like the year-long thing, I have a goal to revamp the blog. Um, if you've looked at my blog, I would love your feedback, what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, what you want to keep, those kinds of things. I've started thinking about what I want to do with it, thanks to everybody who's already given me feedback. But I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't actually started doing any of it. So we'll call that um, planning stages? How about that? We'll call that in the planning stages. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, my friends, that's it. That is it for me and my January progress report. As always, thank you for being here. Always make sure you let me know if there's something you're looking for or curious about because I have no problem pulling statistics or telling you how those things went. But for now, drop a comment just to let me know you're still here. Hit subscribe and tap that little bell so you know when I'm back. Keep plotting the path to your own dreams and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.